Hello everyone, it's Susan. Thank you for taking the time out to um, come and spend time with me. Uh, I wanted to show you guys these molds from Amazon. They are awesome molds. I love the final product and I'm sure you guys will too. Just so you know that this video is sped up and voiced over. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make one with these flowers. Flowers also came off of Amazon. And I'm going to do the other one in Seascape. So the hexagon is going to be flowered and the square is going to be Seascape. And um, I'm going to mainly show you the flowered one. The Seascape is kind of on the side as I went. So you want to make sure that you have a pair of tweezers when you're doing this because you will need to put your flowers inside the resin after you pour just to kind of fill in the areas that are bare. So I started out with um, filling up my mold halfway with resin after I put some flowers in. And then I filled up the cap part of the mold all the way up to the center piece uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about once you put your um, resin in you want to take a stick I use the blunt end of a skewer stick and you want to run that around in a circle uh, where these screws are at in order to get all as, as many air bubbles as you can out so that's what I'm doing here. I'm running my stick around the screw areas. Do it on both. Do it on your mold, uh, the jar mold and the cap mold. So you want to do that before you actually put in any any uh, items because once you go and circle that around you're going to mess up your items if you've already put them in there. I did find that um, you have to be careful putting in your items because if they are fragile sometimes they tend to break as you're putting them in there so you do want to be very slow when you're putting them in to make sure that you don't have any breakage. you can figure out what you're gonna put in there um, you know the way I did it is I just figured my color scheme which I love the black and white or black and white I love the blue and white color scheme in the flowers so I already knew what I was going to do and I just started putting um, the flowers in and then I went around with leaves and I kind of filled in the areas that needed more with leaves and with um, baby's breath. When you are putting in your uh, putting your flowers into your cap you want to be aware that you're not going to have very much room to f put resin over the top of it and you want to get it uh, totally covered in resin so make sure that you do that totally cover your flowers in resin that way you don't have any problems afterwards with trying to cover them up. I did have that problem on another pour so but look at how pretty those look. I think the just the blue and the white is I love the way the blue and the white look together. And then for the seascape I used um, a mermaid that I made. I used some um, charms that I got from Amazon and of course I used sand and I used sea seashells. The seashells and the sand I got from the dollar store and Dollar General. So I am going to at, go ahead and keep filling this up and let you guys listen to some music.
so once you have them filled up like you want them then you want to let them um, cure for four hours you do want to make sure that you wipe your edges off let them cure for four hours and then once they're cured you can start on the next half you do want to do this in more than um, one pour you want to do them in two pours and if you wait too long and you do the other half you're gonna have a, a noticeable line so you really want to do it within four hours so you don't have a noticeable line there so uh, again the same process you're going to fill it up and I fill it up all the way to the center piece to the top put in what I'm going to put in on this half and then I'll put in what I want on top and then you let it cure again here's some more music Okay, so don't forget to share, like, and comment on my video. That helps me out a whole lot. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. I will answer any questions that you may have. Um, if you are a creator, also please leave me a message in the comments because I would love to, um, I, I love to network. So it helps when you network and you learn things off of each other so please like share and comment and this is the bottom of the jar so um, I loved how this looks as far as the flowers go um, and then I'm going to do the top to the seascape I always wet my sand first before I put it in the product because it will leave air bubbles if you put your sand in without mixing it into some resin first. I have actually even had the sand stick to my mold when I haven't done it that way so I always try to wet it down first with some resin. I'm gonna put some seashells and some charms on this and um, I really didn't think that I was going to like the raised look as far as having them uh, stick out of the top of this uh, cap but in the end I really liked the way it looked 
Once you get everything done, you do want to let it cure for 24 hours before you take it out of the mold. I found that out the hard way, so make sure it is cured fully before you take it out of the mold. It's been 24 hours and here we go. This is the part that everybody, including myself, loves and can't wait to see. So these molds were hard to unmold and uh, therefore I'm all over the place trying to get these out of the mold. I found it is easier to um, roll the mold off rather than trying to pull it off or yank it off. So um, I just I rolled the mold, got it down to where you want it to be, and I was able to pull the centerpiece out. Again, it is difficult. I'm sorry I didn't show it better on here. Um, but because it was so hard to get them out, uh, it was like it was a struggle. So beware of that and, and understand that that is normal. See, look at these though. These turned out so gorgeous. And I will be showing a um, couple of pictures of the finished product and nice uh, a nice setting so you can see the just the clarity of this um, resin is also my resin that I use I love the resin that I use counterculture DYI hard casting resin it's the perfect resin for this type of a pour they just turned out I'm just so amazed at how well these things come out and I've actually done so far three different pours with this mold and it has not um, differed then they've all been really good product I hope you like the video again please give me a thumbs up like or share you have a great day